I'm going to take one of these cups. Now this is a really good shape to make the mantle of the giant squid, which is the top of the giant squid. I'm going to squash the cup, but keep this bit nice and open. And then I'm just going to open it out again, because I want to very carefully poke a hole in the top of the cup like that. And then, that's the top of the giant squid like that. And another cup, I'm going to put this cup inside the mantle of the giant squid, because this bit here is perfect for the head of the giant squid. So I'm going to take my scissors and very carefully cut into there, and then go all the way round. I'm going to fold this card in half like this, turn it round that way. Now I'm drawing all the way around the cup and then cutting out that shape. Before I attach these two bits together, I'm going to make a hole in the bottom of this cup in the middle. It's gentle, so I don't want it to be too big. Before I put this into the other cup, I'm just going to squash this down a little bit. I've got some bubble wrap here, which is perfect. I'm going to put that just inside the mantle of the squid. And then I'm going to poke a paper fastener through to make a hole. Then on the head of the giant squid, I'm making another hole. Then I can attach the head inside the mantle. I've got a really nice mechanism there. I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to put that bit down here and then it's a bit like a Cornish pasty. Push down to where the sides of the cup are. I'm going to draw my fins here and here. I'm just going to cut into there like that and also cut there as well. I'm going to take the bendy end of my straw I'm going to poke it through the hole I've made in the top of this cup and then bend it down like this so you've got a, a handle. I've got a strip of card, I'm gluing the back of it and then wrapping it round the squid's head, poking it inside the mantle and then tucking it in so it fits the head really well. Now I'm just securing it with sticky tape. Now it's time to make the arms of your giant squid. Now your giant squid has got eight long arms and two even longer tentacles. So one, two, three, a little bit like that. And now I'm going to cut. This might take a little bit of time. Now we have our eight arms and we're going to stick our suckers on. Attach the arms to the end of the straw and then wrap them around themselves. Secure them with sticky tape. And then you push the arms into the head of the squid. And now I'm going to add two long tentacles on either side of the squid's head. And now the last thing to add is his eyes. I'm going to make my squid's eyes out of yellow card. Now I'm going to draw the pupil of the eye. Really nice and big. I'm going to put a shiny white spot in his eye. Oh, what a lovely pair of eyes. And squid's eyes are so big because they live right at the bottom of the ocean, in the deepest parts of the ocean. And the 
there's not much light down there. So they need to, to have big eyes so they can pick up as much light as possible. And there we are. A beautiful giant squid. Ooh. Has anybody seen my umbrella? <laughs> Amazing what you can do when you recycle your old rubbish. We'd love to see your arty creations. Send your photos to us and we'll display them in Granny Pearl's gallery.